In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of tools that I use quite frequently to get objects to line up the way I want them to. And so what I'm going to show you first is we're going to take a couple of these objects on the screen, a couple of these shapes, select them both, and on the properties panel, you'll notice at the very top there are these six icons here. And if you hover over them, you'll see that they have different alignment properties. And I'll just test a couple of them out here. So let's just say I wanted these two shapes to line up along the left-hand edge. I could just come up here and click Align Left, and they're lined up for me. I'm going to undo that using Command-Z on the Mac or Control-Z on a Chromebook or Windows. And if I want to uh, get them to align up by their center lines, I can pick Align Center. All right. And then finally, on this, this first section here, if I want them to line up on the right, I can do that. Okay, and I'm going to show you one more. Uh, this time I'm going to select all three of these top items here. It doesn't really matter how many items you select, as long as you have them all in your selection, you can then pick a style for alignment. And so I can come up here now and I can align them by their tops, by their center line, horizontal center line and by their bottom border. Okay, so these are the six alignment tools that are available to you. Now I do want to point out something else, and that's the second portion of this, uh, these tools, which is distribution. Now distribution highlighted because now I have three items, uh, a minimum of three items. So I've got a selection down here that I wanted to show you. These six items here are uh, of the same shape, and let's just say that I wanted to have them all line up and be distributed evenly between them. First of all, I'm going to align them. I'm going to, let's say, align them by their bottom, like that. But I want them to be evenly spaced apart. And again, that's what distribution is for. And so, because they are laid out sideways next to each other, I'm going to use the horizontal distribution tool. And if I click on that, you'll notice that they've all lined up exactly uh, however far apart they are from each other, from end to end. Um, there's other one other tool I want to show you along the same lines as this, and that's if you take, uh, let's say you were starting this off from scratch, you just had one of these, you can duplicate using Control D on Windows and Chromebook or Command D on a Mac. That brings out another rectangle, and when you bring out that other rectangle, first of all, you'll see that it's got some helping guidelines with uh, with measurements here, but let's just say that you did this. Once you do it once, if you hit that control D again, it will continue to duplicate at that same distance. So there's that's a second way of making sure that your items are distributed uh, evenly. The one reason I actually like the distribution tool up at the top though is because I can take one and put it here. Maybe maybe for whatever reason in my artwork I needed one to be there and then the other to be here. And I didn't know where the distribution remained or I didn't know the distance between them uh, you know, after, after I've already done that. So I can take now, once I've placed a initial shape and an ending shape, I can then align them and distribute them and they'll line up accordingly. So again, I use the distribution tool whenever I know I have a beginning point and an end point and I just want to line up everything else in between. All right, that's it for alignment and distribution.